Have you guys ever had those days where you rummage through the pantry trying to figure out what you're gonna make for dinner? Hey guys, we're having ramen noodles again! And Jimmy has soccer practice and Julie has dance and you are just running around like a crazy person trying to figure out what you're gonna make. This is gonna help you figure out how to stop all of that and get organized with your meals. first time here please like and subscribe down below and join our YouTube family we'd love to have you so I'm gonna to talk to you guys today about meal planning I've been meal planning for about four or five years now I'm gonna share my tips and tricks with you about how I meal plan now there are a thousand different ways to meal plan me I meal plan for the month I'll let you guys let that sink in yes I meal plan for the whole entire month and actually, you guys, I used to meal plan two to three months in advance. Now, you might be asking yourselves, why would you do that? Why would you meal plan for a month, two, or three months in advance? You guys, it's because I am lazy. I am not one of those people that can sit down every week and write down what I'm gonna do. I don't have time for that. I don't wanna do it. I don't like taking that time to plan. So once a month is all you get. Before I get into meal planning, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about a couple of things that go into the beforehand of meal planning. The first thing is budgeting. So when I started meal planning a couple years ago, part of it was because we had a tiny budget for groceries. I only had a budget of $75 every two weeks. Yeah, it's not very much for a family of four. It was crazy hard. So I had to be organized. Now our budget has evolved a little bit over the years. My budget has increased. It's still not crazy. I'm telling you guys this because I want you to realize that it's a realistic thing. So my grocery budget, it's $125 every two weeks. So that's $250 a month for groceries. It's not a lot. I want you to know that that doesn't mean that you have to skimp on what you feed your family. You can still feed your family good wholesome meals and stay within that budget. If you guys want to know about that kind of stuff and how I do that, comment down below and let me know and I will put up a video about that. Anyway, so the first step in getting your grocery plan is knowing what your budget is. If you don't have one yet, just sit down and go through and decide what you can realistically spend on groceries on a consistent basis. Also, you guys, I only plan out the meals for dinners. Now, that doesn't mean that my budget is only for dinners. That is not the case. I have breakfast, lunch in there. If you guys are curious about how I do lunches for my kids for school, I'll link a video that I did about that in the corner up above. And for breakfast, we usually eat the same few things, eggs, cereal, oatmeal, over and over again. So I already know what part of my budget that is. Now, the next step, after that is deciding when you are going to do your meal planning. So I usually do it the last pay period of the month, the day after that. That's when I do my next month's meal plan. The next thing is your meals. 90% of families probably eat the same few meals all the time in rotation anyway. Think about that. Think about what you eat on a regular basis. So before I sit down and write down my monthly meal plan, I like to talk over meals that my family likes to eat. So I actually ask my kids and my husband what their top five meals are. Then I categorize all the meals that I usually make on a regular basis into a couple different groups. The first group is non-chicken. We eat a lot of chicken in this house. Healthy and light meals soups, sandwiches, and chicken meals. Now, within this group, once I've grouped all those together, I go through and I put an E next to each of the meals that I know that I can make it quick, I don't have to worry about it. And then I also go through all of the meals and put a CP next to anything that is a crock pot meal. That way, I can go through and put those on the days that I have a lot going on. So once you've done that, it is time to dive into your calendar. You can do a calendar, just a regular calendar you get from the store that hangs up on the wall. I personally like to use one on my computer. I go into Microsoft Word and open up a new document and in there they usually have a thing that says calendar. Just click on that, open it up, and you can use that as your calendar. Now, I do this for a couple reasons. One, my handwriting is horrible, you guys. This is my categories. Yeah, my handwriting is terrible. 
and I can type faster than I can write. The second reason that I use it on my computer is that once I'm done, I can save my document and I can email it to myself. This way, if I have to go to the grocery store during the week, then I can pick it up then. When I plan out my calendar, there's a few different steps that I take. You open up that calendar, it's a blank document, it looks kind of daunting. I promise you, it fills up faster than you think. So first off, go through and mark any days that you know that you're not gonna have to make dinner. For example, we go and eat the first Sunday of every month at Curtis's parents' house for family night. So I know that I don't have to cook for them. And then also we like to eat out on either Friday or Saturday. So I just designate Saturday as a no meal plan day. Friday is there, so if we eat out on Friday, I just move Friday's meal to Saturday. Once you've marked those days that you know you're not gonna have to cook, then I actually go through and mark my busy days. So with that being a day that I know is always busy, I put in an easy meal. Now I also know that Sundays we have church and I like to have a meal ready right after we get done with church because we get out at two o'clock. So usually on Sundays I make a crock pot meal so that when we get done with church we can just take it out of the crock pot and we can eat and I don't have to worry about it. Wednesdays is an easy meal, Sundays is a crock pot meal. Now I've already got like half of my calendar already done. Like I said, we usually eat a lot of chicken. So Mondays I like to do a non-chicken day. Some sort of dish that's not chicken. So we either eat fish or shrimp or pork or beef. And then I fill out the rest of my calendar with just what sounds good or what will work with leftovers. So Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Fridays I usually do easy meals or something that's kind of like takeout. So we do a lot of French bread pizzas or tacos or that kind of stuff on Fridays because we usually like to go out and play on Fridays. I want to talk to you about leftovers. So we use leftovers for me and Curtis for lunch. Curtis gets to come home for lunch. So we will eat leftovers during the week or when like, everybody is at the house on Saturday and Sunday, if they are hungry, they can go pull those out of the fridge. Or if they stay leftover or if we have a lot of leftovers, then I will put them in a container or a Ziploc and throw them in the freezer so that if I'm sick or something comes up, and people are hungry, they can pull it out of the freezer, heat it up, and eat it. They have a good meal to eat. Sorry, I gotta go pick up Zane. He is awake now. Okay, everybody say hi to baby Zane. He's gonna join us for the rest of this. Okay, so where was I? Now, does this mean that I stick to exactly what I have every day? Not necessarily. If I don't want something that I have planned for that day, I just switch it for something else that works within that first two week period. Does that make sense, you guys? If I don't want something that I have planned for that specific day, I just switch it out for something on another day. And that's really it. I promise you if you do this, it will save you money, it will save your sanity, your family will thank you, you will thank you, you will feel so much better. I know when I don't do it, uh, it's terrible. Please comment if you guys have any other tips for me about how you meal plan and what works for you or if you want me to go deeper into any part of this. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe and let us know if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks again for watching guys and we'll see you again next time. Bye.